was October 2002 when Jesus came looking for me. By that time in life, I was a drug addict. I was drug dealing. I was diseased. I was angry. I was violent. I was broken. I was hopeless. And I didn't walk into church that night because I was looking for the Lord. I didn't even know if God existed. I wasn't looking for God at all. In fact, I walked into church that night because I was trying to get into a fight with the pastor's son. But by the end of the night, I ended up at the altar praying a prayer and not even really believing or knowing if something was going to happen to me or if anything would ever be different. And I ended up in a visionary type experience with Jesus where I saw the one who is alive from the dead. And Jesus embraced me in a time where many had walked away from me. And that moment, that night, in one encounter, I was a radically different person, instantly delivered from addiction, from anger, from violence, from lust and perversion and so many other bondages that had gripped my heart and controlled my life. It was shortly thereafter that I was baptized publicly and then filled with the Holy Spirit. A few weeks after being filled with the Spirit, I was sitting in a service because I told you I was diseased. I was sitting in a service and I heard the voice of the Lord say to me, Mike, I want to heal you this morning if you would let me. You see, it was years prior that I had sat in a doctor's office and made an appointment that day because I woke up with a lot of issues. And as I ran into an appointment as fast as I could get there, I had a professional sit across the desk from me and tell me that for the rest of my life, I would now bear in my body the marks or the consequences of my lifestyle choices. He said I would never have a spouse and be able to be intimate with that spouse without the transference of a disease that science had no cure for. He said if we had children that it wouldn't be in a natural fashion without them being tainted because of the decisions that I gave my life to. You see, it was hopeless for me in the moment because the professional told me that I had herpes. But that Sunday morning as I sat out in the crowd and I heard the voice of God say, I want to heal you if you would let me. I decided to respond to God and I walked down to the altar and when they laid their hands on me and they prayed a prayer of faith, it felt as if someone dumped a hot bucket of water over my head and it ran down through the floor. And going home to now have a face off with my pills, not really knowing if anything was different or if even what had happened meant something. As I extended my arm into the drawer to take my medication, which I had to do on a daily basis, I felt the voice of the Lord speak to me one more time and this time he said something very different. He said, Mike, you don't need those anymore. And you see that day back in January of 2003, the blood of Jesus gave me an answer that science still has not found. I have a wife for almost 10 years now that is whole and perfect. My three children were all had natural or whole and perfect and beautiful. And I've committed the rest of my days to lead people to the one that came looking for me that day back in October of 2002.